Welcome to all of you in this video. I am Audhesh Pratap Patel and I am starting a series of videos dealing with the history of Chhattisgarh. So stay tuned. Let's start. As far as history is concerned, especially the Indian history, it has been categorized in three broad categories. The first category is called Prehistoric Age. The second category is called Proto Historic Age, and the third category is called Historic Age. Now, what is the basis of this classification? Well, the basis of this classification is availability of written evidences and their decipherment means understanding. So that part of history concerning which no written evidences have been recovered yet falls under prehistoric age or that part of the history is called prehistoric age. So mainly it is the stone age which falls in this category. Now the next part of history is proto-historic age. So what is proto-historic age? Well, this is the part of history concerning which the written evidences have been recovered, but they have not yet been understood or deciphered. So basically, it is the era of Indus Valley civilization which falls under this category. Now, what is historic age? So, actually, it is that part of Indian history or that part of history concerning which written evidences have been recovered and they have also been deciphered or understood. So, in India, actually, the historic age begins from the Rig Vedic age and it continues till today. So, this is a broad categorization of history. Now we have to see that what evidences and from where the evidences have been found in Chhattisgarh regarding the prehistoric age or the stone age. So let's start with the stone age. See, the stone age has also been categorized in four prominent categories. Let's see what are those. So the first category of Stone Age or the first part of Stone Age is Paleolithic Age. Paleolithic Age. So, what evidences have been found in Chhattisgarh regarding the Paleolithic age and from where they have been recovered. So the answer is there are two places from where the evidences regarding Paleolithic age have been recovered. The first one is Singhanpur Caves. Singhanpur Caves and the second one is Mahanadi Valley. So the two places from where the evidences regarding Paleolithic age have been recovered are Singhanpur Caves and Mahanadi Valley. Both of these places are located in the Raigad district. So basically, both of them are located in Raigad district. A very special tool has been, recurred, has been recovered regarding the Paleolithic age and that is the main made stone hoe. So the main made stone hoe has been recovered from Singhanpur region. 
सो दिस इज अ वेरी स्पेशल फैक्ट रिगार्डिंग दी पैलोलिथिक एज सो एज फार एज पैलोलिथिक एज इज कंसर्न देर आर टू प्रोमिनेंट प्लेसेस फ्रॉम वेयर द एविडेंसेस रिगार्डिंग पैलोलिथिक एज हैव बीन रिकवर्ड दे आर सिंघनपुर केव्स एंड महानदी वैली बोथ ऑफ देम आर लोकेटेड इनसाइड द जियोग्राफिकल और एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव बाउंड्रीज ऑफ रायगढ़ डिस्ट्रिक्ट ओके अ स्पेशल चूल that is the main made stone ho has been recovered regarding the paleolithic age from singhanpur caves or singhanpur region so this is all about paleolithic age now let's talk about the next part of stone age that is the mesolithic age mesolithic age okay so from what part of chatisgarh and from which places of chatisgarh the evidences regarding mesolithic age have been found so basically there is one prominent place from where the evidences regarding mesolithic age have been found that is kabra pahad again it is located in the geographical borders of raigad district so basically it is kabra pahad in raigad district from where the evidences regarding mesolithic age have been found so what are those evidences basically so the evidences include the paintings the rock paintings of rock paintings of red colored lizard alligator hatchet and sambar etc so these are the rock paintings which have been recovered from kabra pahad and they belong to mesolithic age apart from that a very special uh, tool has been found which has been recognized as a long blade tool and apart from a long blade tool okay half moon shaped half moon shaped which are also called lunular lunular shaped small stone equipments have also been recovered and they belong to mesolithic age so as far as mesolithic age is concerned kabra pahad is the place from where the evidences related with mesolithic age have been found they include the rock paintings of red colored lizard alligator hatchet and sambar etc apart from that long blade tools okay half moon shaped which is also called lunular shaped okay small stone equipment have also been found and they all are related with the mesolithic age So this is all about Mesolithic age. Now let's move to the next part of the Stone Age. That is the later Stone Age. So or later Stone Age. So the evidences regarding or related with the later Stone Age have been recovered. from some places these places include dhanpur so dhanpur was earlier a part of bilaspur district but right now after district reorganization it falls under the geographical boundary of gorela pendra and marwahi district apart from dhanpur again the singhanpur caves
and Mahanadi Valley of Raigar district house some of the important evidences regarding or related with the later stone age. Now, what are those evidences? So, in Mahanadi Valley, okay, human figures, human figures and tool figures have been painted on the rocks. So, this is all about the later stone age. So, in the later stone age or uh, belonging to the later stone age, the evidences have been found in Dhanpur, which is right now located in Gorilla Pendra Marwahi district, okay, Singhanpur caves in Mahanadi Valley, which are in Raigar district. Okay, so what are the evidences which have been found in Mahanadi Valley? So basically these are the human figures and figure of tools which have been painted on the rocks in the valley. So this is all about later stone age. Now the next one is the Neolithic age. So what are the evidences belonging to the Neolithic age that have been recovered in Chhattisgarh. So, there are some places. The places where the evidences of Neolithic age have been found are Arjuni in Durg district, Bontila. And Terum and Terum in Raigal district and Chitwa Dongri right now Chitwa Dongri is in Balo district Okay, its precise location is Balod district. But the CGPSC and other examinations have always taken uh, either Rajnangaon or MMA, that means Mohela Manpur Ambagar Chauki, as answer. So I am just leaving it to the viewers' discretion that what source they want to rely on. But precisely, its precise location is Balod district. Okay, so this is all about Neolithic age. Okay. So, these are the places from where the evidences regarding stone age have been found. Now, if you are talking about stone age, we should also talk about the megaliths which have been found in Chhattisgarh. So, what are the megaliths? So, let's start with megaliths. Okay. Megaliths in Chhattisgarh. So, see what is megalith? Okay, megalithic monuments have been found in different parts of Chhattisgarh. So, basically, the word megalith has been made by two words one is mega, means large, and lith, means stones. Okay, so megalith means. Mega means large and lith means stone. So, megalith means large stone monuments which have been found in different places of Chhattisgarh. Okay, so before we go and read that what are the places from where the megalithic structures have been found, we have to understand that what are the types of megalithic structures or megalithic structures which have been found in Chhattisgarh. So see, if we talk about megalithic monuments, the megalithic monuments can be divided in two categories. Okay. They can either be small 
sepulchral in nature when i say sepulchral means related with the burials or they can also be non sepulchral means not related with burial so most of the megalithic monuments which have been found in chhattisgarh are of non sepulchral nature that means stone monuments or the megalithic structures not always convey that they have been erected over a burial so now let's see that what are the other types specific types of the megalithic structure which have been found in chhattisgarh so in chhattisgarh basically or mainly eight types of megalithic structures have been found what are they let's see so the first one the first one are called stone circles stone circles now what are the stone circles okay stone circles are the circles of dressed or undressed stones okay they are usually made over the burial and at times at some places okay one may find 5 to 10 stone circles okay the prominent examples can be seen in karhi bhadar karhi bhadar चिरचारी चिरचारी एंड सोरर इन बालोद डिस्ट्रिक्ट ओके सो स्टोन सर्कल्स आर नथिंग बट द सर्कल्स ऑफ ड्रेस्ड और अनड्रेस्ड स्टोन्स ओके मेनी दे आर पुट ओवर द बर्डियो ओके वन मे फाइंड फाइव और टेन स्टोन सर्कल्स एट द सेम प्लेस okay the most prominent examples in chatisgarh are seen in karhi bhadar chirchari and solara palud district okay <clears throat> now the next megalithic structure or next type of megalithic structure are dolmen with two slabs so what are dolmen with two slabs okay so dolmen with two slabs okay this is a kind of a structure where a large table like stone which is called capstone rests over okay two vertically erected stones that's why it is called dolmen with two slabs so when two vertically erected stone slabs okay uh hold a flat stone which is called the capstone then this structure is called dolmen with two slabs okay because there are two slabs that's why okay the local people in gondi they call it dwe pathri dwe pathri here dwe means two and pathri means made of stones okay so structure which rests op- over two vertical stones is called dwe pathri in gondi language okay and it is basically the dolmen with two slabs okay now the next type of megalithic structure is capstone okay so what is capstone when a large flat table like stone rests over stone circles or okay it is uh held in its place by many small stones then it is called capstone okay so what is difference between dolmen with two slabs and capstone in dolmen with two slabs there are two vertically erected slabs but in capstone there are no such slabs okay the capstone rests over small stone circles now the next one the next megalithic structure in chatisgarh the fourth type is basically the small boulders 
small boulders with single man hair single man hair so what is small boulders or what are the small boulders with single man hair what what is the meaning of this type actually so man hair is a vertically erected prehistoric uh, stone when a large stone is vertically erected okay it is called a man hair so when such large vertically erected stone is surrounded by stone circles it is called small boulders with single man hair okay so such structures have been found scattered in different parts of chhattisgarh the next type are the alignments now what are the alignments what kind of megalithic monuments or structures are called alignments so when menhirs are arranged in a column or in a row cautiously okay then it is called alignments okay so alignments have been found in dantewada and bastar region apart from alignment the next one is called the pyramidal menhir now what is pyramidal menhir okay so in pyramidal menhir okay one menhir is covered by many small boulders and almost a pyramid pyramid like structure is prepared so when a pyramid like structure of stones is prepared where a menhir is located in the center and the outer part is covered by small boulders then such a structure is called pyramidal menhirs okay now the next is twin menhirs twin menhirs so at times two menhirs have been found surrounded by small boulders that means inside the stone circles two vertically erected stones have been found they have been called twin menhirs scholars say that they indicate the double burial of husband and wife inside a stone circle now the last one is anthropomorphic menhir so what is anthropomorphic menhir okay so by the word anthropomorphic we mean something resembling the human figure that is called anthropomorphic so when menhirs are designed as if they are the face of human beings okay such menhirs are called anthropomorphic menhirs so anthropomorphic menhirs have also been found in different regions of chhattisgarh now let's see what are those regions and they fall under which district okay so here we need to make a table okay so see okay in bilaspur there's a place called balpura where the menhirs have been found okay so in lasput district there's a place called balpura where the menhirs have been found now in raipur district there is a place called sonbira again menhirs have been found here okay so balpura in bilaspur sonbira in raipur and at both the places menhirs have been found which belong to the prehistoric age now next is the balod district now there are five places in balod okay the first one is dhanora the second one is tengna the third one is karka bhata the 
फोर्थ वन इज चिरचारी एंड द फिफ्थ वन इज मजगहन मजगहन ओके सो इन बॉलोड डिस्ट्रिक्ट ओके धनोरा टेंगना करका भाठा चिरचारी एंड मजगहन दीज फाइव प्लेसेस हाउस्ड दी यू नो मेगालिथिक स्ट्रक्चर्स वट आर दोज मेगालिथिक स्ट्रक्चर्स ओके इफ यू टॉकिंग अबाउट धनोरा एंड टेंगना ओके इट बोथ दीज प्लेसेस ओके केयर्न सर्कल्स हैव बीन फाउंड केयर्न सर्कल्स नाउ वट आर दी केयर्न सर्कल्स सो केयर्न सर्कल मीन्स ओके दे आर दी स्टोन सर्कल्स ओके बट मोर स्टोन आर एडेड ऑन द टॉप ओके द सच स्टोन सर्कल्स आर कॉल्ड केयर्न सर्कल्स सो इन बालोड डिस्ट्रिक्ट धनोरा एंड टेंगना ओके एट बोथ दीज प्लेसेस केयर्न सर्कल्स हैव बीन फाउंड ओके नाउ करका भाठा ओके एट करका भाठा ऑल्सो के एन सर्कल के एन सर्कल एंड एंथ्रोपोमोर्फिक फिगर हैव बीन रिकवर्ड सो इन करका भाठा के एन सर्कल एंड एंथ्रोपोमोर्फिक मैनहिर हैज बीन फाउंड ओके इन चिरचारी ओके अ सिंगल मैनहिर एंड रॉक शेल्टर rock shelter have been found and in majgahan and in majgahan majgahan a single manhir has been found so in balod district dhanora and tingna where the kn circle has been found okay karka bhatha is there where the kn circle and anthropomorphic manhir has been found and chirchari is there where the manhir rock shelters have been found majgahan is there where manhirs have been found so basically there are five prominent places in balod district where the megalithic structures have been found and these five places are dhanora tengna karka bhatha chirchari and majgahan now next let's talk about dhamtari in dhantari district okay there are two places the first one is arod lilar arod lilar and the second one is bhavan mara bhavan mara okay both are both of these k r k n circles both of these have cairn circles as the megalithic structure so in dhamtari district arod lilar and bhavan mara have been found okay and both of them house cairn circles so cairn circle kind of megalithic structure has been have been found or has been found in arod lilar and bhavan mara now the next district is let's say rajnandgaon here mudhi par mudhi par is a place where cairn circles have been found so in rajnandgaon mudhi par is the place where the megalithic mon monument has been found and that megalithic monument is of cairn circle type okay similarly in kondagaon there is a place called mothe where again the cairn circles i am writing cc in short or i am writing cairn circles cairn circles have been found so in rajnandgaon mudhi par is the place and in kondagaon mothe is the place where the cairn circles have been found okay now let's come to the next district that is sukma in sukma district the place where the megalithic monuments have been found is timmelwada timmelwada 
सो तिम्मेलवाड़ा इज द प्लेस इन सुकमा वेर दी मेगालिथिक मोनूमेंट हैज बिन फाउंड हैज बिन रिकवर्ड नाउ वट टाइप ऑफ मेगालिथिक मोनूमेंट सो बेसिकली दे हैव और इट हाउसेज the sukma district and timmelwala village houses actually the capstone capstone and dolmen so capstone and dolmen okay have been found in sukma now the next district is bijapur in bijapur there are two places where the megalithic monuments have been found those two places are those two places in bijapur are actually bijapur is a very uh, a far flung district of chatisgarh which is located in the southern area actually and the two places which have been found in bijapur they basically house actually the kn circles and manhirs so kn circles and manhirs have been found in bijapur also and the another district of chatisgarh which is located in the bastar region is dantewada so in dantewada there are three places okay the places are gammewada संकन पल्ली गम्मेवाड़ा संकन पल्ली एंड मुंद्रापारा मुंद्रापारा सो गम्मेवाड़ा संकन पल्ली एंड मुंद्रापारा आर द थ्री प्लेसेस इन दंतेवाड़ा डिस्ट्रिक्ट फ्रॉम वेयर द मेगालिथिक मॉन्यूमेंट्स हैव बीन फाउंड and as far as the bijapur district is called uh, bijapur district is concerned where the kn circles and manhirs have been found the places are actually nela kanker and murdanda so nela kanker and murdanda in bijapur where the kn circles and manhirs have been found so see as far as the megalithic structures in chhattisgarh are concerned okay there are eight types of megalithic monuments okay these are stone circles dolmen with two slabs okay capstone small boulders with single manhir alignments pyramidal manhir okay twin manhirs anthropomorphic manhirs now if we talk about the places from where the megalithic monuments have been recovered okay so district wise in bilaspur district balpura is the place where the manhirs have been found raipur is the district uh, in which Sonbira is the place where the manhirs have been found in Balod. Okay, Dhanora, Tengna, Karka Bhatha, Chirchari, and Majgahan are the places where the you know uh, uh, KN circles, KN circle, and anthropomorphic manhirs, manhirs, rock shelters, etc. have been found. Okay, if we talk about Dhamtari districts, it's the Arad, Dilar, and Bhavan Mara. Okay, at both these places, KN circle have been found. okay in rajnand gaon mudhi par is the place in konda gaon mothe is the place where the kn circles have been found and apart from them okay in sukma district it is timmelwada timmelwada in timmelwada okay capstone and dolmen both have been found and in bijapur there are two places nela kanker and murdanda where the megalithic uh, structure have been found and in dantewada okay gammewada sanganpalli and uh, mundrapada are the three places where the manhirs have been found okay so the list is as follows you can check on the list and note it down
सो दैट्स इट दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ द हिस्ट्री ऑफ छत्तीसगढ़ स्टे ट्यून्ड फॉर मोर इंफॉर्मेशन एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर प्लीज डू परचेस अवर बुक अ कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव हिस्ट्री ऑफ छत्तीसगढ़ इन दिस बुक ऑल द हिस्ट्री हैज बिन रिटर्न एज इफ इट इज अ स्टोरी here all the prominent facts have been highlighted and this is the kind of history which will teach you history through stories in completely descriptive manner so just go for it thank you